On the 21st of April 1970, a state of emergency was declared in Trinidad and Tobago. The SOE followed months of daily demonstrations and mass meetings, with trade unions calling for equality and access to better employment opportunities. Members of the National Joint Action Committee were arrested during this time, as the local regiment faced full-scale mutiny at the Tetron Barracks. Veteran journalist Jones P. Madara, who covered the event, walks us through this day in history. Crystal Wilson tells us more. April 21st, an historic day for Trinidad and Tobago. Fifty years have passed, but the memory remains for journalist Jones P. Madera. He explained what happened in the nation's capital on that day came as no surprise. According to Mr. Madera, the atmosphere in the country was combative as civil rights groups were getting together, demanding equal rights and opportunities for every creed and race. Mr. Madera said he was on his way to cover a scheduled march from Central to Port of Spain. He said he was waiting in Cuba for the demonstration to begin, but he noticed the place was eerily quiet. Then, not long after, he received a call. The next thing I knew is I was receiving a call by the wireless system in, in, in the vehicle that a state of emergency was being declared. My instructions were come back into Port of Spain immediately because they expected a lot of things would, would have happened. The state of emergency was announced on behalf of the government by the late Carl Hudson Phillips, then the Attorney General. When Mr. Madera got into Port of Spain, all appeared quiet, but that soon changed. The moment I got to the point of the Cipriani roundabout, I noticed that there were something happening. Police were emerging from police headquarters on St. Vincent Street with guns in the air and shooting off the 303 rifles. And the police came in battle fatigue, uh, running through towards Woodford Square out of police headquarters and scattering the crowd, dispersing with some brute force. He saw people arrested by the police. Some were beaten. Others, unfortunately, had died as a result of mass rioting in the capital city. I saw a guy lying on, I think it was on a bench or a desk, um, and his eyes wide open, and he was looking at me, and I, I said something like, well, what's happening to your partner? Everything all right? And he didn't blink. He didn't move. And I said, are you okay? Are you sure you're all right? I was talking to a corpse. Um, this youngster was killed. It's only when I went behind him I saw the extent of his, of his injury and discovered I was indeed talking to a corpse. Mr. Madera said if anything was gained from the events of April 21, 1970, it gave young people a voice and they earned themselves greater respect in Trinidad and Tobago. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.